Hello Year 6, welcome to your virtual science induction session here at Hearts and Essex. My name is Mrs Dalton and I'm the subject leader for science. Now, the picture on the screen is of one of the science labs at Hearts and Essex and hopefully you're really excited to start in September and see these different labs and use all the different pieces of equipment that we have got here. Now, this lab looks very different to your classrooms at your primary schools. So the first thing we like to do when we do an induction session and also when you start with us in year seven is have a look at what we need to do and how we need to behave when we enter a classroom or a lab like this. So your first challenge is to decide and determine what is going wrong in this classroom. So you can see here, a lab with no safety rules at all. There are lots of dangerous activities going on. So what I would like you to do is pause the video. How many hazards can you spot? And your extra challenge is what would you do differently? How would you keep everybody safe in this classroom? So pause the video and have a go. Did you find them all? So there are plenty of issues in this classroom. I have never seen such an unsafe classroom in all of my time teaching. So let's just talk about a couple of these issues and if you spotted them. So easy ones, we've got no running, no leaning back on your stools. So they're normal, aren't they, for classrooms? We've then got some specific ones to science. We've got things like tie up your hair when you're doing work with Bunsen burners. Now Bunsen burners are really exciting pieces of equipment to use and we have to make sure that we're safe so that we can really enjoy the activity. So in science we always wear goggles, we have our hair up and we make sure we have a clear workspace. So you can see lots of issues in this lab where there aren't goggles, hair's not up, and it's not a clear workspace. We've also got people using random chemicals. They don't seem to know what they are. They're knocking things off of the benches. They're throwing, playing with electricity, putting their hands in broken glassware, looking straight at something that's boiling. So lots of dangerous activities. What would we do better? Hair up, goggles on, sit properly, don't run. Um, make sure that you're following the instructions of your teacher so that you can be safe and really enjoy your experience. Now the next thing I want you to do, can you find the superstar scientist in this lab? Have a look. One person in this room is following instructions. They are being safe. They're using the equipment properly. Have you found them? Here they are. So you can see goggles on. They are not running, they're concentrating. They've got a clear workspace. They're using their Bunsen safely and they've tilted that boiling tube so that anything that boils doesn't spit out at them. So a really excellent scientist here. And this is what we're going to develop you into. You are also going to be superstar scientists. Now, scientists have got really superb observational skills. So what you are going to do is have a look at this image for 30 seconds. I will keep the video running for this so you know exactly how long 30 seconds is. You need to remember as many as you can. Don't write them down. Don't take a photo. No cheating. And then you're going to have 45 seconds to write down as many as you can. So in three, two, one, start remembering. Ten seconds left. Time's up. So now you've got 45 seconds. Again, I'm going to keep the timer running. Write down everything you can remember.
10 seconds to go. Time's up, so stop writing. Check your list against what you've got on here. How many did you remember? How was your memory? So scientists are really great at making observations. So that's what you were testing here. How well could you see what was on the screen and then recall that information? Hopefully you've done quite well. But again, that's something that we can develop over time, those powers of observation. So let's put these two ideas together. So our observation skills and our understanding of safety in a lab. So we've got picture A and B. They look very similar, but in picture B, the scientist is not being very careful. That's both in terms of safety and their technique, their scientific technique. So there are four things here that he's doing wrong. Again, pause the video, take your time. Can you spot the four differences between the two pictures? And can you write a short explanation about each one? So what is that difference and why is it not right? Did you spot them? Let's have a look at picture B. So first issue is that he's not wearing goggles. Any time that we do a practical in science, we wear goggles to make sure that our eyes are protected from any potential hazards. We can also see a half eaten sandwich on the desk. We never eat or drink in a science lab. Again, that's for our safety. There could be contaminants on those desks that would be harmful if we ingest. The other two are linked to the practical technique. So the Bunsen burner on the left has got a smaller flame. It's not going to be as hot. You're not going to get the same kind of results if you use different flames with different temperatures and different energies. The second scientific issue is that they've used two different sized beakers. So you need to use the same beaker so that you've got the same volume of water. Again, it's going to affect how long it's going to take that liquid to boil. So in your science lessons, we'll also look at how you ensure that your tests are reliable and repeatable. And at the moment, this experiment is neither of those two things. So hopefully you know this already. Scientists are curious and I'm sure lots of you are curious about the world around you and how it works. So you can see some pictures of our science teachers on the screen. This isn't everyone. It's just a handful of the science teachers that you will meet in September. They've got some questions for you. So what we would like you to do is pick a question or lots of questions you can choose and research the answer. In September, Bring your answers with you and we'll spend the first few minutes of our lessons talking about some of these questions and the answers that you have found. So you've got lots of options here. You could pause the video and take a photo. You could write down the questions that you want to research. So you've got lots of options here. We've got some biology questions. We've got some physics questions. There's some chemistry questions. If none of these take your fancy, we've got some more. So we've got some more physics questions and some more biology questions. So pick one of those questions, research it, have some fun trying to find it out. And then we'd love to hear your ideas in September when we get to meet you in person. Now for the fun bit. So if we were in school together, we would be doing a practical in the classroom. We'd be putting into practice all of those safety ideas and all of those powers of observation. So the next four slides have got two different practicals. Please make sure that an adult is present when you're carrying out the practicals. It is crucial that you are safe when you carry out these investigations. So have a go at one or both of these practicals and complete the follow up questions to see what you have learned from doing them. Now, I've put some safety tips 
below. So make sure you alert an adult. They have to be happy for you to carry out this activity. And it's a good idea to discuss the risks. So anything that could be dangerous, what you will do to prevent that from happening and what you would do if one were to occur. So for example, you might be using glassware for this activity. So a risk might be that it could smash, which could cut you. So what you would need to do is make sure you've got dry hands so it's not slippy, you've got clear work surfaces and you store the, the glass away from the edges. If you were to break it, stay still and then ask an adult for help. So make sure you've thought as a household about how to carry out this activity. An exciting part for us is that we'd love to see what you are doing. So once you have done your activity or whilst you're doing your activity, you could take a photo and send that photo to me. So my email address is on the slide. Any photos that are sent in could end up on the Hearts and Essex Twitter feed. So make sure you include your name and primary school in the email that you send so I know exactly who has done this practical so I can share what you have completed. Make sure that you check with an adult before you send in any photos. They must be happy for images of you or your work to be shared on social media. Now, both of the practicals that we have designed are linked to rainbows. And that is as another really big thank you to all of the key workers that have been working to keep us safe and well over the past few months. So thank you to anybody that that applies to. So here's one of our practicals. You can pause the video so that you can see the instructions. And I've included some photos to give you an idea of what you might be doing. There are some tips on here as well as to how to make it easier to carry out. Once you've completed your activity, why not have a go at the learning? So answering those questions to see what you've learnt. You can research these as well if you need to. If you haven't learned about it at primary school, it's a really nice idea to find out for yourself. The second practical is a little bit more challenging. It requires more equipment and a little bit more patience and care. Again, it's got a couple of tips in there to help you. Plus some questions. So have a go at those once you've completed that experiment. And don't forget, if you're allowed, send those pictures in. I would love to see what you got up to. You will also receive a summer project. Part of that project will be a science page. So this is a challenge for you to get involved in over the summer, keep yourself busy and find out a little bit more about some current science. So there are four different options of activity. What we'd like you to do is pick one of those challenges, get your answer onto one A4 sheet of paper, make sure it's got your name and your new form on it, hand it in to your first science lesson in September, and then house points will be awarded for the most eye-catching, most informative, and posters with the best science. So you'll see this information in a booklet that will be sent home to you. So we look forward to meeting you all very soon. Keep practicing those observation skills ready for September. And here is one last activity to keep you busy. So feel free to pause the screen and then have a go at finding all of these key terms in the word search. Any terms you're not sure of, you could look up or you can wait and ask in September. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a lovely summer holiday and we can't wait to meet you very soon.